guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fossil Kitchen and today we are back with you guys with Black Sails uh, Episode 3 from Season 1 Yes, I did 4, I don't know why Last episode, um, first of all we got John Silver, I'm trying to learn the names uh, He tried to do a deal and sell the page to uh, Charles Vane mm -hmm. And the deal did not go through because while Charles wanted him to come out and face him before he, he got the page and the money. Uh, Flint and Billy showed up and they managed to get him, not before John Silver learned what was on the page and burnt it though. So now he is the only one who knows what was on that page and he is valuable. The, he is the page. He is the page. So we're gonna keep him around, uh, mm -hmm. but now he has all the cards, so who knows what he's gonna do. Mm -hmm. uh, Flint has told Eleanor what the plan was, what his goal was, and she has decided to help him, which means she left Max, she be she betrayed her. She uh, broke her heart. Yeah, Max left, so I don't know what's gonna happen to her, but yeah, she, she was heartbroken, so we'll see. And yeah, that's pretty much where we are now. Yeah. Oh, and uh, uh, now it looks like Captain Flint might have a, a wife or something. He showed up to a house and there was a woman there and she said, oh, I'll take a few boots. So I don't yeah, know. He has a reason to maybe settle somewhere and to protect that place. Yeah, that's what he said. So let's meet that woman. Learn more about her. Let's go. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these episodes uh, and check out our Patreon for the full length reactions. All right, let's go. I found him, Miranda. Irish's ship. You found the schedule. He, more or less. Well, he did find it. We'll see how he uses those cards. She's gone. One of the holes helped her pass the guards. I told her I would protect her. Protection she does not be... mean freedom. Why would she believe you? You literally she sort of betray this. her. Not me. <laughs> he doesn't not know. Me. You better be worth it. She's losing a lot, but with poten the potential of gaining a lot too, so... I must admit. Given how long it's taken to track him, I had wondered if it was a lost cause. Everyone was doubting him. So <laughs> I just... I was hoping to have you all to myself. If he's been gone for long periods of time chasing oh. something that might not be true, I'd see why she would probably want to settle peacefully with what they have. <laughs> now we're... you're not getting me, you're getting a job. <laughs> I need a favor. You always need a favor. <laughs> That's how it works, right? You promised 5,000 pesos of our money is gone. And someone's got to answer for it. What happened last night was as disappointing to me as it was to you. Make it right, Jack. You still owe them like 5,000 pesos. Well, they know who has the information. I guess they can go after Flint and his crew. It sucks and I would be disappointed. Mm -hmm. But now we move forward. I do hope that for his sake, it is accurate. You forgot to mention a part of it. Yeah, I'll tell you at the end. You know, keep me around. The Oka has a planned stop to take on water somewhere on the coast of Florida. This describes a course that ends miles short of the coast. Mm. As the rest of the course. He's not gonna give you everything. I can't exactly write that down, can I? You all seem rather angry with me. Especially you. <laughs> they would kill him. And if I was to stop you from killing me right here. Mm. He has a point. So he proved to them that he remembered it. Now, keep him around. I have an exceptionally low tolerance for pain. <laughs> I'd say anything to make it stop. What if I were to remain with your crew? Hmm. What value can you bring to the crew? I forgot schedule in exchange for my share of the prize. And he wants to get paid. When the time comes for me to reveal the last piece, I will be right by your side. What's to stop me from killing you anyway? By that time, you will love me. That's a few weeks from now, isn't it? <laughs> I understand how he works. <laughs> I might be able to prove my worth to you in a few weeks. He knows what he can bring and he knows how to use it. What can he bring? Information, memory. We need some additional items that will exceed our normal demands. You'll have it. A hundred casks of powder, new guns, twelve pounders. When we fire on the Urko, we'll need to do more than make a scratch or we'll have no chance of success. As I said, since Max is gone now, she kind of has no choice but to be all in, otherwise yeah. it's not worth it. True. Silver, no singleton, wasn't a thief. What if he tells the wrong person the truth? It's a risk, but what do you do? 
I've been wondering if the guy who gets thrown overboard that I remember was Billy after all. Because I think, John. Mm, probably sure. It, I think it might be Billy. He's the one with the suspicions. <laughs> Mr. Silver here has uh, lost a wager to me. Owes me the rest of the day helping you peel. <laughs> He's gonna keep him away from the crew. <laughs> Give me a yell if he tries to wander off. So, peel away. <laughs> peel away, man. Peel away. You wanted to be a part of the crew? You said you were a cook. cook. Peel. <laughs> Is he tra training for the, the shout whenever he runs away? That's what I'll do if you should wonder. <laughs> Good job. I haven't seen a pair of 12 pound guns on this island in months. Bryce is due back in two days. He's armed himself with 12 pounders since he joined my father's fleet. You can't expect him to give them to us. And while we're on the subject of Bryson, once he arrives, that is the last of your father's supply ships we can expect. We will only cover roughly one third of our costs in less than four weeks. The warehouse is empty. Then he'll have to help us. Who? Oh. My father. <laughs> is he in a state to help? I came aboard the ship two days ago, and I hear Mr. Singleton making what sounds to me to be a lot of sense. He's dead. Flint remains, and everyone seems to have forgotten that any of it ever causing trouble, man. You're not helping yourself to stay alive, man. Do you know of people who still harbor some anger towards the captain? I'd be very curious as to what they had to say. You want to survive? Don't do this shit. But he's always in it for himself. He doesn't give a shit who he screws over. And his life depends on them either accepting him or him somehow finding a way out. If he gets rid of Flint and his little crew, that's only three people who know about him on the ship. Father, I need your help. We need a new partner. Someone with ships and legitimacy. Someone we can trust not to cross you. I know this is difficult, but I need you to trust me. I can do this. <laughs> he got shot by the guy, I don't know. He probably feels betrayed. Who the fuck are you kidding? It's help me or flee to Boston. Beg your father and brothers for sanctuary. You'll be right back in the parlor room, listening to a crack in the door to where the real business is being done. Mm. Back to where you started. Think on that. Or you sit here and pretend that helping me isn't the only choice you have. Ooh. Some words that you wanted to say for a while. He's a man with a deeply wounded pride. He thinks like he thinks of himself like he's the man, like the better guy, the superior. We we talked about this before. He's still a little shit. How are you, Ben? Don't be pleasant with me. I know why you're here. A lurker de Lima. Bro, no, I'm to be Flint's new consort, huh? He doesn't want you as the consort. And what does he want? Your ship <laughs> and your crew. Not you. And who exactly is going to captain my ship? <sighs> oh, you! He doesn't want somebody new. He and I share a kind of a shorthand. Um, yeah, he knows him really well. crew, no one trusts me. It makes the most sense. But to give away well, your yeah, entire ship and crew? I'm <laughs> certain my men trust me at this stage. I promised my men that if they stayed with me, they'd be soldiers again, fighting a war to restore a rightful king. Well, that's what we're trying to do, so... Now, we're coming to terms with a very uncomfortable truth. No matter how many lies we tell ourselves, or no matter how many stories we convince ourselves we're part of, we're all just thieves awaiting a noose. We are fighting to change that faith, so give them hope. And what do I tell Flint? You're the only man I've ever met that's gotten dumber with age. I think he's in. Who knows if it will work, but eh. The uh, short haired gentleman goes by Mr. Turk. Oh. Randall, and the man in black. Ah, oh, okay. They are what's left of your beauty. I thought he would because want I to double them. Mr. Turk. Convince them that he's on their side. And he's convinced Flint lied about Singleton. When I told him I was of a like mind, he happily opened up. And now you're telling me why. To show I have good faith. He wants to leave. He wants to have his share of the locker de Lima. It's true that you. Get rid of them would not advance him much. He's got no one left but the misfits. How dangerous can he be? Very okay. dangerous. <laughs> We're not there yet. He knows how to play his cards right. I wondered what he was gonna do, because with information you can play around, but if he wants part of the money, it's better to get them to like him. Captaining the Royal Lion as consort of Laura since your first command, isn't it? Perhaps instead of uh, pestering me, you should be out there looking for a boat. <laughs> You're my only chance, <laughs> quartermaster to quartermaster, please. It won't take much for you to lose that new crew of yours. Perhaps you'll oversleep the bells and need to be roused. Perhaps you'll slip and fall, and that knee of yours will finally give up. He Perhaps is old. The moment the Urka looms close, you know exactly what every last man in that crew will be thinking. You'll 
wish we had a cat that 30 years younger. Playing with his doubts, because he knows that too. He's a good manipulator. I guess when you're a quartermaster, you really need to understand the people. <laughs> we said it about him, but it's true for him as well. Yeah. To be fair, as fucked up as Vane is, I would like to see him more often, so why yeah. not? I don't know. I mean, his crew is a bunch of stuff. I think you have a better idea if the console than the They're good at what they're doing, I guess. Different captain comes with his own crew. Charles Vane. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> that wasn't a joke, was it? <laughs> Unfortunately, you know. Are you ill? No, I'm aware of it. Then why would you even think? Because the ranger is twice the ship the lion is. More importantly, the captain is strong in a fight, second only to Against you. the big galleon, that would be fool. Yeah, we that need to have a, a crew that knows how to fight. Without the Urka, we have nothing. From where I'm sitting, without Vane, we don't have the Urka. The best with the best, the strong with the strong. What makes you even think he would do it? He's right there waiting for you to say yes. <laughs> Hello. Fuck you, Jack. I understand your feelings. The two quartermasters need to convince their captains. You already told the crew. So have a right to know. And if Mr. Gates succeeds in bringing Flint to the table, they may wish to move forward with or without your endorsement. Yeah, I mean, you have no choice. See the bigger picture. You would be a legend. If we swallow our pride and help Flint, who else on this island stands to benefit? You, you get Eleanor back, maybe? Who else might see you in a different light? Hey! <laughs> if we can cooperate? Matters of the heart. He's so softy at heart. You know, he appears tough, but... At night, he reads poetry. Yep, with glasses on his nose. He <laughs> doesn't have his boombox yet, yeah, but it's gonna be close. This was his idea. Yeah, of course, paint him like the saint. He's trying to be a wingman. He's a good wingman. He's good at this. Yeah. I like him. Yeah? So we shall we begin? begin? I hate you, I hate you too, yay! First off, let me express my appreciation to everyone seated at this table. The two are not seated at the table. I want to talk about Mosiah. What about him? He's dead. I want to hear your cowardly fuck of a captain apologize for him. Doesn't what we talk about? I'd like a moment to confer with my colleague. Flint! <laughs> well, at this rate, the Urka will get to Cadiz and back again before we resolve anything. Are you as surprised as I am? And I'm the only one here behaving myself. You're trying to put up a good front. Let's wait till we're actually at sea, actually doing the work. With the struggles and everything, yeah. A share per man. Two for the captain. Share out for the captain, one for the ship. Injuries come out of your end. But you may get priority on unique items. Done. Finally, how well, long does it take? One more thing. Don't push your look. The terms are agreeable. My concern is who will enforce them? And who did you have in mind? The only person around here that isn't beholden to Ms. Gathery for their livelihood. Her father. No, they're not supposed to know what's happening. My father doesn't know about this. But it's too bad. <laughs> but you have my word. These terms should be honored. Write it down then. Perhaps it would be wise to revisit our terms to account for this added risk. No one's revisiting shit. We had a Just fucking wait deal. Heard enough. The terms are fine. He will trust her. Oh, it's good enough for me. And it's another point for him. Oh, he trusts me. <laughs> we know how to manipulate him in the future. Can we consider this a deal? It's a partnership I'm excited about. Yeah. It's dangerous, but. Ben and Flint? Mm. I wanted to see more of them, so... You think that there's a possible future there? She's all yours, Captain. Wait, she's all yours, Max? You think? Yeah. Oh, fuck. She won't forgive you for this. You do understand. I had no choice. What you did, it required an answer. It wasn't even her fault what happened. Our mutual friend tried to protect you. You left anyway. Yeah, she felt betrayed. Why? How did you feel when she threw you aside? Maybe you can relate and stop hurting her? Get her on a boat. Do it after dark. And do it quietly. Don't do anything stupid. Yes, they are technically keeping you prisoner, but they are also hiding you because people are looking to arrest you. There are whispers among my flock. They say the king means to reassert colonial rule here. For those who are a part of my flock, when their judgment arrives, their righteousness will almost certainly go beyond doubt. It's not quite that simple for me. Is he keeping you here? 
It's complicated. I feel like maybe in a way he is, but she can go whenever she wants, so... It's I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, if she loves him, and she's staying here for him, it's complicated. <laughs> Welcome! She got turned on. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's happening. <laughs> well, Max isn't around anymore. Well, I guess there's cold feelings, but... Is probably because Max is not there anymore. No? Yeah, that's, I don't think there's. I don't know if there are any feelings in this. It's probably just sex. But he turned her on at the meeting, and oh, she because, needs someone. Because he was dos, uh, docile. Touched her hand, and mm. he didn't even ask questions. He was like, okay. <laughs> Hello, Jack. No, 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 no. The captain might have brought her here. But it's up to us. She we went down one far. If she came back to him, then she leaves and finds out they had Max. Oof. She will not forgive him for sure. Captain, the man, I need you now. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you can forget this you now. You did this! He wanted her out. It's, it fucking sucks for him, but... You are, all of you, as of right now, finished! Mm. You will not sell anything, you will not buy anything, you will not eat anything! No, no. Unless you decide, right now, to elect yourselves a new captain. Oh! Unless you decide to join the crew of Captain Flint. Oh, shit. Oh, that's mean. You so what will it be? Beggars under an old captain. Yeah. Or rich men under a new one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is personal. Yeah, it is right now, but that's because she believes he did that to hurt her or something, but I know, I know. Where are you going? The choice is kinda clear. They all wanna live. He had everything for one second and then he lost everything. Okay, I get Because he cannot control his crew. Yes, and he did bring her here, although his plan was to send her away. That's why I feel a bit bad. I'm so sorry he did this to you. Oh, let me take care of you. We could have left. Mm. He didn't do this to me. You did? You did. Uh, don't play the blame game, please. Actions cost you your purse. What she did it is pain. I'm yours. And she's doing that because she knows it'll hurt her. <sighs> Maybe she'll take her under her wing. Maybe. Turn her into a badass pirate. Like her? <laughs> it looks like she just gave us a ship. Ship and now captain. Yep. So we're back to the beginning. You get it still? You can have the crew without Vane. Yeah, but he had, he wanted this so they could have the certainty of Vane's power, Vane's, you know, crew's loyalty. Yeah. He's afraid that he's not going to be able to keep up. Because of what Jack told him, that, oh, we want to have a, a younger captain to lead us. Hey, you're here to threaten me. Singleton stole the page. Saw it with my own eyes. You call him me a liar? He has a lot of uh, weight with the crew, so I guess there's that. But he is lying to him openly right now. How do you feel about that? I may be wrong about Singleton, but I'm not wrong about Flint. To him, we're all disposable. I don't believe that. That's because you don't know about Mrs. Barlow. Well, we want to learn more, so do tell us. But how would she... How would that mean that he doesn't give a shit about the crew? <laughs> because she's his priority. Is yeah. Mom. Don't tell me that they might have something to get him because he's going to be there with her. Huh? The Emperor writes, You should be like a rocky promontory against which the restless surf continually pounds. She's the rock and Flint is the sea that rests at her feet. But not many who would have absorbed it without capitulation or complaint. Cuckoo! So we might have seen episode four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Who do you want to talk about first? There's a lot to happen this episode. Ooh. 
Miss Barlow first? Okay, so I don't know if they are married. There's a story there that apparently he's been trying to keep her a secret, maybe, and the, the people that know know, like you say, that maybe her, you know, she, he's doing everything for her, and if it was for her, maybe he would have been in the crew. So we're going with that. Yeah. It feels like they're definitely lovers. Maybe they are married. I don't know. Like we saw, we saw the uh, the uh, painting portrait. But it, I, I was looking for their names, and it wasn't their names. So maybe they used to be important or something, and now it was not. Uh, I don't. Was it some someone and Thomas Hamilton on the bottom? Yeah, Mrs. and uh, Mr. Hamilton. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, why would they have that? Either it's because. One of them comes from a big family, or they used to be that couple, and and somehow they they they're here now. I don't know, but she's definitely the one that is the rock, you know, to which he will crash and and settle, and he goes back to her once in a while. She mm -hmm. takes care of him. How would I feel being in her shoes? Pretty bad. Uh, if she cares about him, which I th I think she does, she would be worrying constantly maybe she wishes they could settle somewhere they could you know with what they have but he has this big dream of yes settling but also making sure that their way of life stays alive making sure that the whole island is safe so just running away is not how he wants to do it he yeah. wants to make sure but that means being away for a long time it means risking his life constantly and coming back with wounds that she has to treat and it does feel like just the pastor saying oh is he keeping you here and she's not answering? Maybe it looks like she's in a prison some in some sort of way. I feel like it might be a prison of the heart. Like yeah. she doesn't want to leave because she, she cares. She can physically leave because he's not keeping her here against her will. But like he expects her to be there. He expects her, but I think it's more of a, a mother of the heart. It's a fact that he, even though it takes months maybe maybe not years but months he always come back but and always. yes but then what if so like, it's it's a, it's a matter of fact if does he can give can he give her enough of what she wants or he can only give us a little by little i feel like you know? she wants him and he's not there because he's constantly chasing a dream that i mean before he told her he found Parrish's ship she didn't even know if it was a true dream he was chasing now he's got an actual goal, he's got information about this, so he's gonna go. But that makes the whole mission even more dangerous, because now it's a possibility, but it's a dangerous possibility with a lot of guards. And I don't know, the whole plan with having another ship following was good. Um, but there is the uncertainty of putting a captain that is not respected by the crew in charge, a captain that is older. And I mean, if Charles Vane had... Difficulties, difficulties to yeah. manage his crew. What about our own? <laughs> and it's the whole master. <laughs> like it's the whole idea that they were doing this according to a an agreement that they had between themselves, and we knew that Charles was gonna follow it because he cared about Eleanor. But the crew doesn't give a shit. So who's to say that when they fight, when once the fighting is done, if they manage to win, they're not gonna fight each other to see who gets the the more of the gold. They don't have any allegiance to that captain. They switch sides because they were threatened to not eat, not be sell. Not, yeah, but now if they have the promise of money, I don't know. It's a dangerous game and there's no honor among Steve. So... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I know she did that because she was angry. I She responded to what she thought was happening, which, to be fair, it's true he brought Max to the camp. He wanted to make her pay for... Well, it's not even like she played him, but she did give the information to someone else when she had agreed to sell it to them. So when they were about to get what, what they were going to pay for, the other crew showed up. So Flint and Billy showed up, and they lost a lot of money. Did she have a choice, though? She was threatened to be tortured for that, for that information. Yeah, but still, how do you see that? Like they, In this world, it's your word... Your word is one thing. They don't really give a, f a fuck what you go through. If you promise them something and it ended with them losing more and you kind of need to pay, like it's, yeah. it's, 
it is her fault and she understands that to some extent because she just decided to stay. I do believe she said that maybe to hurt Eleanor. I think she did. But you just, you know, screwed him over, but you screwed me over as well. I'm staying with him because I have honor. I keep my word. I don't, you know, I don't run around and, and betray people like you did. So I think it's it's a spike that she's sending at her, definitely. It sucks a bit for Charles because I do think he, I mean, he really wanted to let her go. <laughs> and he had I mean, no... I, he's still <laughs> fond of Eleanor and yeah. he wants to go back into her good grace. I don't know if she will ever allow him to go, come back into her good grace because we don't know what happened to begin with for them to have that, that fallout, right? I guess he couldn't be trusted or something. I don't know, it's right. I, we don't know what happened back then, so... But it feels like what turned her on was him saying he trusted her, him acting calm, him, you know, controlling himself. So maybe that had to do with how, why they had a falling out, like maybe he just fucking abandoned her and, and did something crazy, he can't be trusted, I don't know. But a little there's bit definitely... Too more, a little bit too much impulsive, maybe? Yeah, well, that, yeah, that for sure. Not just him, most of his crew as well. Yeah. Um, I do, I feel like Rackham is the only one with a good head on his shoulders and he's working against the tide, <laughs> you know? Uh, he's a good manipulator, he's a good people person, he knows how they work, just like, uh, what's his name, Mr. Gates? Mr. Gates, yeah. They are both good at their job, they know what to say, I mean, even more Rackham than Gates knows definitely what to say to manipulate someone and send them in the direction he wants. Mm -hmm. What he told Gates really hit in the feels and it brought out every insecurities he might have had about himself. So he was good at this and he got what he wanted, but now they've lost everything in one night because of this, because of this. Thing that the crew did because it's true they can't control them but if they can't control them gates has no chance and if that goes to shit we don't have enough firepower to go against the urca de lima, de lima. Mm. and if we fuck up the whole mission it's gonna be bad at home as well so you make promises but if you cannot come back with the prize what are you doing this for you're gonna lose everything so it's a dangerous game they're playing a very dangerous game do you think that Eleanor wasn't a right to come back on her words and change the deal. She did not really change the deal. She just made it sound like, okay, like her giving them access to, you know, her business has nothing to do with the deal. True. So to say, you have a deal, you're supposed to help Flint. She, she I mean, since she knew he needed the crew, she said, join Flint and leave Charles. So she helped Flint because she wanted to hurt Vane, but still her saying, if you stay with Vane, I'm, I'm no longer gonna allow you to do shit on my island. That's not part of the deal, so she's entitled to say that, but she is also screwing over a captain that brings money. She is screwing over someone that could find himself a new crew and, and fight back. She is also putting this crew in charge well, not in charge, but in Flint's charge, not knowing what could happen, because like I said, who's to say that they will be faithful, that they will be loyal to to Gates, if he's the one that they put on the on the ship, but I do think he's gonna be the one. So, even though I understand why she did it, even though I understand where it came from, I, and it, like Flint was happy, because he did not want to deal with, with Vane, <laughs> no. but I do believe she might have screwed them over, so we'll see where it goes. We will see. And uh, we'll see what, Char what Charles does from there on, then on. I, I think he might keep his little crew. So maybe Rackham, maybe Anne, and now Max. Uh, I don't know about you maybe a couple maybe of Anne loyalists. Take Max on her wing? I feel like the look she gave her might mean that she will help her a little bit. Like she's seeing maybe a woman. I don't know her backstory. Uh, I've read about it a little bit back in the day, but I forgot most of it, so... And it could be different in the show. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe she comes from a similar place and she changed her life around and now she, she's seeing a woman that's, you know, putting herself in this situation and she has a bit of respect. We'll see. She's a bit of a loose cannon, so I don't know what to think when it comes to her yet. Mm. But, uh, and like, I don't know, I don't think all of the crew switched over. Some of them are saying, like, what are you doing? So maybe he's still got a few men, but definitely not enough to compete right now. So we'll see his next move. But uh, yeah, Mrs. Barlow, 
I don't know. Uh, we need to learn more. We need to learn what Billy found out about her. Uh, if there's more to this than what we have seen in this episode. Yeah. And uh, beyond that, there's John Silver, who's also trying to stay alive by making sure the right people are staying on the ship. At first, I thought he might try to get rid... Because the, the people that knew about him and the page, you got Flint, you got Billy, you got Gates. Yeah. That's about it. I don't know, but she's, she's no, not on, on the ship. ship. On the ship. So they are the ones propelling this mission forward, but they are also the ones that have a reason to get rid of him once this is over. He's been saying, oh, maybe in a few weeks, you'll grow to like me, which I do believe <laughs> might happen. So, but then like he started playing around with the ones that hate Flint. So I was thinking maybe he wants to over, like still keep the coup going, switch the crew around. But then when you, when you think about it, that doesn't really do anything except screw over the mission and he would want that gold. So it makes more sense for him to learn about it because no one would suspect him. And, and then to prove that it could be helpful to Flint and his little crew. Yeah, but if his goal is to prove to Flint that he's a part of the crew, a part of his crew, and he's going to be loyal, so there's no reason not to trust him. And now he's just seen Billy talking with the ones that want to dispose of Flint. You think you want to create some discord? I, I'm conflict. thinking, I do remember one of them getting thrown overboard and I'm thinking he might throw Billy overboard because Billy has a lot of influence. He's already had, he already has his doubts when it comes to Flint and yeah. if he finds out about Mrs. Barlow and somehow this is bad enough for him to question Flint, John might get rid of him just to make sure there's no problems ahead. I don't know. But this is all based on my one memory of this show <laughs> that someone gets thrown overboard. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, do you think that maybe if uh, Eleanor's father stayed with Mrs. Barlow, they might maybe develop something? I don't think so. I because don't know. they do share uh, the same interest in literature. And it's gonna but she also shares that with Flint. But it's going to be there. He's not there, yeah. Um, I guess maybe through him we get to learn more about her, then that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything to happen, um, but we'll see where it goes. It's true that if she's been left alone with nothing and she's not satisfied and she, she's not reassured, maybe she'll turn to someone else, but mm -hmm. I don't want to believe it's going to happen with him. Yeah. Especially since right now he's basically an asshole. He's not helping us in any way. True. And he might maybe pro cause problems in the long run. And I mean, beyond that, like he's putting his daughter in a situation where she can't fucking, like she's losing everything. She's putting so much in this deal and she will empty everything. She has nothing left. And she just got rid of a captain that brought her money and stuff. So I'm like, mm, we'll see where it goes. Ooh, but uh, there's a lot of manipulation happening. There's a lot of uh, mistrust. And they did say in the first episode that trust is the most important thing in a crew, and we don't see that anywhere. We don't have any besides Flint and Mr. Gates. And that, I, that I can trust. Yeah, and I can, but that's pretty much it, because even if <laughs> Rackham is on Charles's side, I do believe he would be willing to screw him over if it was in his best interest. Like, he's doing a really good job, and he's helping in any way he can, but he also does what he thinks is best, even if it means going against what he believes. So I don't yeah. know about trust... I really don't know. I did know. feel bad for Charles Vane in that episode, though. A little bit. Though. <laughs> a little bit. It's just the fact that he he does really seem that he has a fondness for Eleanor, and the fact that... He loves her. Yeah, he loves her. It's not fondness. I do believe he loves her. Did you see how quick he was to just... <laughs> yeah, come here. <laughs> she showed up. She was like... <sighs> he was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's happening. It's happening. No <laughs> question. No question. No. Okay. Okay. But, yeah, I just... I want to have your impression, though, about this... My opinion? Your opinion, yeah. About this blaming game. It was, was it Max's fault, like Rain said? Was it Eleanor's fault, like Max has said? Who, who really... Does we have someone at fault what happened, technically? Well, Eleanor just... did betray Max to a certain extent, but that's only based on the fact that Max believed they were in it together, and they truly wanted to be, like... I guess she had a, in her mind, she had a vision, like a version of Eleanor that was not true in the end. And she expected her to leave everything in Nassau behind to be with her. I don't know. It depends on if Eleanor made it sound like she wanted to be with her beyond anything else. Like it, 
if she led her on, that's one thing, but I don't believe she did. So at the end of the day, she chose what, what was best for her and Max assumed that the choice would be herself, but it wasn't. So Eleanor's a bit to blame, but Max is also a bit to blame because she assumed and she did a lot, like she put herself in danger. She started deals without really consulting her about it first and she put her in this position. So I'm not saying she is to blame, but I don't think Eleanor's to blame either. They both did what they thought was best for themselves and what they wanted. The crew that assaulted Max was really in the wrong. Yeah. So, pirates. I'm okay. not gonna say hi hi though. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. And if you don't want to, the next one will be on YouTube next week. So see you then, guys. Bye.